Well, good day, everyone. We're here at Keeler Gardens, showing you how spring is progressing in our little corner of the world in Chicago. So I wanted to start with tulips out in the front. The display this year has been phenomenal. Earlier in the season, we had just this sort of pink, coral, red theme. And then as those started to fade, the purples came up. So as all those red tones fade away, uh, the purples will hold on and uh, it's a very dynamic display as it changes colors over time. So we'll move along. We have these two little pie piece cutouts and this is the actual better one. Uh, this is geranium in the front. We had some wonderful uh, crocuses and Chianodoxa and Scylla in here earlier, and those have faded away, and now this is getting ready for a summer display. We'll have some feverfew in here, uh, the geraniums will bloom pink, and then in the fall, we'll have some beautiful blue asters. We move our way over to the side, look at that river of purple. We've got hyacinths here, which are just so beautifully scented, and we send us back that, that river of, of purple or blue, depending on how it's coming through on your screen, that is Muscari, our grape hyacinth. And this space will fill in dramatically over the course of the next uh, few weeks. We'll have lamb's ear that's coming up. I'll get a little closer and you can see that lamb's ear with its fuzzy little leaves. And some sedum's gonna come up here and we'll have a galardia here. And although these look a little weedy right now, they'll make some beautiful red sunflowers. We have a little mini rose garden here. Um, and there's dianthus as a ground cover there. And the rose garden actually continues behind our lilac bushes. And we have this wonderful climber. Um, we're hoping it'll, it'll bloom red. I'm not sure if you can get a good view of that there. Now you can see it. We're hoping that'll have a, just a profusion of red flowers. And these are our lilacs. They should be blooming shortly too. We'll come around to the front, the rest of our spring space here. We've got two different kinds of daffodil. Um, I believe one is called cheerfulness and the other is athalia. These are doubles. You can see how they have so many petals. And then we've got a juga coming up. Our peonies are making a show. Look at all of them. That's gonna be fantastic. We have the fronts of the beds bordered with a lamium, a spotted lamium, spotted dead nettle. Uh, this one has some white spots and yellow flowers. And this wonderful rust-toned emergent leaves is from a spirea. So the new leaves show up in this rusty tone and they fade to an orange and then eventually to a chartreuse. So in the middle of summer, this will be heavy on the chartreuse with some pink flowers. We'll come around here. We have another azuga that's blooming. And then we've got some irises that are on their way. Acetum's just making some, uh, some headway here. Um, some of this empty space will fill in with the summer uh, with Coreopsis. And that is um, false blue indigo in the back. And we've got some um, liriope uh, sprouting up. And we also have over here in the front a very special gift. If you look closely, you can see those uh, red trimmed leaves there. That is actually a snapdragon. We had snapdragons in our garden two years ago. Last year, it seeded itself, became a pretty hardy rootstock, and now it actually made it through the winter because we had such a, a mild winter here, which is fantastic. Um, this part of the garden from afar looks, looks like it's coming along. Up close though, we'll show you some details. We've got a, a reblooming lilac, and we've got some pulmonaria, lungwort here, and uh, that same spirea. We've got uh, some foliage, uh, different colored foliage. Um, I believe this is a uh, Senecio. And our hydrangeas are coming up. This is a endless summer, but we leave the old stems to get some um, fresh blooms sooner. And then we've got a beautiful iris coming up and that has a wonderful scent to it. This is Campanula, a burgundy bellflower. We've got some tulips in the back, a nice pairing with the pulmonaria and the vinca underneath. And then we make our way around here to this little oval. And we call this the Swedish garden because it's all blues and yellows. Uh, that lamium, that's catmint, more of the uh, false blue indigo. We have some threadleaf coreopsis there. And this is Yugo's going to explode in blue shortly. And we come around the corner and we have another lilac. Uh, this is a patula. 
uh, syringa patula and uh, filling in the space below is ladies mantle and look at how it look at how it grabs the the drops isn't that beautiful so that's a little tour of Keeler Gardens I'll take a step back so you can get a really good look at the colors and the combinations that we've done here and if you have any questions leave me a comment and I will respond thanks for joining us